Thank you, Isaac. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, I'm welcome to another nice, cool evening. It's not muggy at all. It's nice and cool, and I think if we if we all think that way, it'll you know manifest and so. But it's another it's another nice evening out here. Um, I'm Aaron Poole. I'm the city band president, and. Um, I don't need applause for that. I mean, I am pretty great, but... If you guys are going to applaud me, it's going to go to my head, and you only have yourselves to blame. Um, this evening, for our MC, we have Greg Weedy, and for intermission, we have the Clausen family. And then... Before, before I pass it over to Greg, I got a, one more, one joke. Why was the, sorry, why was the pepper bad at archery? Because he didn't have an arrow. You guys don't know what a have an arrow is? Oh. <laughs> now they get it. I'm going to have to cross that one off of my list for today. <laughs> Hello. I think most of you already know me. Uh, being the Executive Director of Love in the Name of Christ of Worthington, working at the Worthington Area YMC and within the school district over the past quite a few years, I've probably come across quite a few of you. Uh, but, uh, and I got some unique perspective to talk about things tonight between songs. But first, I'd like to welcome you tonight to the amazing city, Worthington City Band's fourth summer concert. We open the concert with a Carl Stroman piece titled Eagle Lake March. If you remember from previous concerts, Stroman uses music to describe America's natural beauty coast to coast, and this piece is no exception. Commissioned for a South Carolina band in 2002, this stately tune has a memorable melody intertwined with one wonderful counter melodies. We invite you to imagine time by a lick as you listen to Eagle Lake March.
Methodist Reverend, a Baptist preacher, and a Presbyterian minister all met together at Subway one day for lunch. One thing you need to know about all three of these shepherds is that they were meeting with me in order to order our ministry meeting. Oh, you thought I was making a joke. <laughs> Not yet. I have the good pleasure of serving as secretary on our ministerium, and one thing that we wanted to bring out tonight on all three of these congregations that I just referred to are celebrating 150-year anniversaries here in Worthington. Yeah, yeah, I think that's yeah. First United Methodist has already celebrated theirs in May. Indian Lake Baptist is celebrating this weekend, and Westminster Presbyterian is scheduled for September. So, uh, being the director of Love, Inc., one way we describe what we do there is helping churches help people. Our next piece will tug at your heartstrings. Nearer, my God, to thee, was reported to be one of the last songs played by the music group that was aboard the Titanic before it sank on April 15, 1912. The lyrics of this hymn are based on a passage about Jacob's dream in Genesis. It was originally written in the 19th century by Sarah Flower Adams in England with music by her sister Eliza Flower. Later it was set to a variety of tunes including Bethany by Lowell Mason, which we will hear tonight. Enjoy the ten tender hymn so dear to many, near my God to thee.
is rumored that Jacob said, after having his dream, if I have to choose between taking a shortcut for success or going at it step by step, I will choose the latter. <laughs> oh, we, need, we had a second wind. <laughs> Why did the dog climb the ladder? To get to the wolf. I think I have to worry about behind me rather than in front of me. <laughs> you are invited to the Indian Lake Baptist anniversary celebration this weekend. On Saturday, the Corinne members will present a cultural demonstration at 4.45, followed by a meal, at, and then at 6.30, the Claussons, who you will hear during intermission, will be performing with Mike Earl, and a message by Steve Anderson. Our concert continues with a piece of new music for a band thanks to generous donors. Blue Tango was written by American composer Leroy Anderson in 1951. It was the first instrumental recording to sell over one million copies and could be heard on many jukeboxes yeah, everyone here knows who that is. Okay, and radios. It stayed at number one for 15 weeks on the hit parade. You may be familiar with some of Anderson's other comp compositions, including Sleigh Ride, the Typewriter, and Bugler's Holiday. According to music critic Richard Gunnell, Leroy Anderson is one of the great bridges of American music. A musician who tore down the wall uh, between the so-called serious music and the so-called popular music. Enjoy Blue Tango.
Lake Baptist also continues their celebration on Sunday with fellowship starting at 9, services from 10 to noon at the Nobles County Cattlemen Grilling Stakes and Pastor Jonathan Larson conducting a historical cemetery tour at 2 p.m. They will need a heads up ASAP if you would like to eat. The conductor for the community band came to practice one evening and noticed four flutists were hanging from the rafters. He called up to them and asked, what are you doing up there? They replied, we are lights, we're light bulbs. The conductor replied, no you are not, you are fired, get off my stage. They left. Then the drummers got up and started to leave. He asked the drummers, where are you going? The first percussionist replied, we're leaving. How do you expect us to play in here with no light? Oh, maybe I'm winning them over. The next selection is Robert Hood Bowers, The Three Trees. The Tale of Three Trees, A Hunter, A Babbling Brook, and An Energetic Little Rabbit. It is from a German operetta adopted into English as The Spring Maid by brothers Harry and Robert Smith, which became a Broadway hit for two years. The Three Trees was part of that operetta. This version was arranged by Paul Yoder for concert band. Chris Basil will be our narrator for this unique piece. My scene is a woodland glade. In the center is a beautiful bubbling spring. Surrounded by three trees. There, there, and there. Off times in the early morn, start from 21 <laughs> 21 of times in the early morn a pretty little rabbit would run through the woodland glade to quench its pretty little thirst from the beautiful bubbling spring. Surrounded by three trees. There, there, and there. While the pretty little rabbit was busily engaged. 
page, sucking up the aqua from the beautiful bubbling spring. Surrounded by three trees, there, there, and there. Hunter Roaming through the woodland glade Espied the pretty little rabbit Having its mouth filled with water did not hear the approach of the hunter. From the beautiful bubbling spring. Surrounded by three trees. There. There. And there. Raised his gun and fired. <laughs> Frightening the pretty little rabbit. <coughs> Away from the beautiful bubbling spring. But leaving the three trees. There. There. And there. We're pleased to have the Closet family here with us tonight, and so we'll have them come up and they can tell us a little bit more about themselves. And so let's give them a hand. Here we go, Closet family.
to be denied Just let me live in that city so fair And that's enough, that's enough for me to know well, I do not know, do 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 do not want, I do not want to, to be denied. Just let me live, let me live, live in a that city so fair, and that's enough, that's enough for me to know. Just let me live, let me live, live in, in a that city so fair, that's enough, that's enough for me. That's enough, that's enough for me, that's enough, that's enough for me, me to know. Thank you all. It's great to be here this evening. What a beautiful evening. Um, we appreciate being invited to uh, sing out here at the band concert, and we also appreciate you, Greg, inviting everyone out to Indian Lake for a celebration. We're really looking forward to that, and I uh, hope some of you can make it. And, uh, boy, I don't know about you, but that was kind of a fun song that was just before us. I don't know what you call that, a, a drama, a melodrama? Well, that was, that was kind of fun. I liked that. Um, what a great evening. I hope you enjoy my brother. Ah. Uh, I'll tell you who we are quick. We're the Claussons from right here in town. And uh, this is our mom, Danal. And these are my brothers, Layton, Justin, and I'm Spencer. Hope you enjoy this one of Layton. Before Layton sings his song, um, he just put out a video last week, I Can Only Imagine. And if you look up Layton Grant on YouTube, um, he filmed it. Actually, his brother filmed it, Justin, um, at Devil's Gorge, Garrett's in South Dakota. It's really beautiful. So look it up and you'll enjoy it. Leighton Grant, I can only imagine. I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me I can only imagine yeah Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak in all I can only imagine? Yeah. I can only imagine I can only imagine When that day comes And I find myself Standing in the sun I can only imagine What all I will do Is forever Forever worship you I can only imagine I can only imagine Yeah Surrounded by your glory What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing 
Hallelujah. Will I be able to speak in all I can only imagine? Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah, yeah. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine. Yeah. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Oh. I can only imagine. I can only imagine what I'll have with you is forever, forever worship you. Thank you, Leighton. We've got one more song for you this evening, and uh, we'd like to dedicate this one uh, to all those who have served in the armed forces and uh, served for our country, protecting our freedoms, and, and uh, we dedicate this to you. If tomorrow all the things were gone that I've worked for all my life And I had to start again with just my children and my wife I thank my God above to be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away To be an American, well, at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died, who gave that right to me. I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee Across the plains of Texas From sea to shining sea From Detroit down to Houston From New York to L.A. There's pride in every American heart And it's time we stand and sing To be an American, but at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died, who gave that right to me. And I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA.
That's enough for me. That's enough. That's enough for me. Me to know. That's enough for us to know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, so make it out there to uh, the Indian Lake Baptist and uh, celebrate with them that 150th and get over there to uh, also the Presbyterian Church to celebrate with them. Great. I think we've got you up again, right? Yep. Are those kids going to walk around tonight on that kitty parade thing? So. All right. Well, tell us about it. All right. It's time for the candy march. Kids of all ages, we invite you to march along with the band during our next song. Meet by the edge of the stage and get ready to march. Come join the fun. Well, surely four. Here they come. Once again, the Claussons will be singing uh, 6.30 on Saturday out at Indian Lake Baptist Church. The Trombones Triumphant March was composed by Don Keller. He played the trombone, and as you can guess from this title, the piece includes a prominent trombone feature. It was completed in 1940 just in time for the US, just in time for the American military bands to add it to their con concert repertoires in the US and then play it internationally during World War II. The march's popularity caused Keller to compose three more marches featuring trombones in the 1940s. Enjoy the next march. Trombones triumphant.
This next joke is probably for the band members. So, how do you get the trombones and tubas to play triple fortissimo? Write mezzo piano on their music sheets. Loving currently has 10 GAP Ministries. Uh, GAP Ministry is how Loving uh, comes alongside with the churches to help people. Eight of those are managed by our partnering churches. This way, we can initially come alongside people, residents who come in uh, with help. Next, we feature another selection of the band with James Ployhar's original composition, Horns on the Run. James Ployar was a famous music educator, composer, and arranger of numerous pieces for concert bands, several of which featured different sections. In traditional concert band literature, French horns are often found playing after beats or other boring, really boring, boring rhythmic patterns. Horns on the Run showcases our talented French horn section and their beautiful melodies. We hope you like this catchy tune. So how many horns does it take to change the light bulb? 
Just one, but it takes him two hours to do the alignment and make sure everything's in. This guy was walking through the forest when the fairy suddenly appeared before him and offered him one wish. So he took out a pocket atlas and pointed toward different continents. See, here is suffering, there is hunger, over there are people being tortured. I want all the people to be free and healthy. Can you do that? The fairy sighed. Well, this is very hard, even for me. Is there a chance that you guys can come up with another wish instead that's a little easier? The guy answered, as a matter of fact, there is. See, I, I play French horn, and I have a problem with getting the intonation and the beat right. Do you think you could do? Fairy replied, okay, okay, let's have a look at that atlas once again. <laughs> Actually, if you must know, uh, I'm picking on my own kids because so far all the instruments are ones they are playing. Our next song is Sundance, an original compilation by Carl Strauman that depicts sounds in the American West. He also wrote the Eagle Lake March that began her concert. Strauman has found great success in music, writing music that is uniquely American themes for concert bands, orchestras, and jazz bands. Sundance begins with the sun rising over the horizon in a slow chorale. Soon the tempo increases and suggests a bright country feel and a lively bar dance. Strauman uses both energetic woodwind lines and sharp brass statements to achieve this. Imagine yourself in the America West listening to Sundance. Thank you for allowing me to share a little bit with you this evening. All the jokes were made up from the or from the internet and no animals were injured in the testing. <laughs>
almost forgot one of my kids. It's a little wonder we had so much trouble with air pollution when so much of it is being passed through trumpets. Staff Sergeant Barry Sadler, a member of the Army, Army's elite Green Beret, recorded this patriotic tune, The Ballad of the Green Beret. This song, based on a popular novel, The Green Beret, sat atop the music charts for five weeks in 1966 and became an anthem for pro-war Americans. The record sold more than nine million copies in broad attention to the bravery and patriotism of our American soldiers. The arrangement you will hear tonight was put together by our very own Matthew Saxman, a talented member. of the amazing Worthington City Band and also Fulda's band director. Please enjoy the Ballad of the Green Beret. Well, that was fun. You know, I think I say that <laughs> every concert, but it is. It's just great fun. Fun to play some new music, fun to feature the various sections of the band. Uh, you, know, you might want to show up next week again because you never know who's going to be featured. And next week, you have a treat because there's a concert on the 4th of July, the traditional concert on the 4th of July by the amazing Worthington City Band. And that's because that's on a Tuesday. And then we have our regular concert on Wednesday. So both concerts uh, right here in Chautauqua. It's going to be beautiful weather. You know that. On Tuesday and Wednesday, both at 7.30. Thank you, Klaus and family. You guys still in the ballpark here? Man, oh, thank you. Oh, so much fun to hear you guys sing. Absolutely. 
Now, Craig, 90% of those jokes were right on the money. Thank you very much. Great, great job of emceeing. And we'll close our concert like we always do. It's our tradition. America the Beautiful and the Stars and Stripes. No, uh, Star Spangled Banner. Thank you. And we'll see you next uh, Tuesday night. <laughs>